Did you know? Vision can be monocular, biocular and binocular. Visual field can be central and peripheral. The American woodcock can see 360 degrees in the horizontal plane. We can see 90 degrees in temporal side and only 50 degrees in superiorly. Those who have one eye can see only 150 degrees. Theoretically, three eyes would have given us better stereopsis than two eyes, but the third eye would not be without its problems. Let us know all this in this video. Let's know about a new topic today. What is binocular vision and what is a visual field? Vision can be monocular, biocular and binocular. 1. Monocular vision. It is a vision of single eye. Here you can see monocular visual field. 2. Biocular vision. It is a vision of two eyes without coordination. This is the biocular visual field. 3. Binocular vision. It is a coordinated vision of two eyes or overlap of monocular visual fields. Here you can see binocular visual field. Let's see what is visual field. Visual field is a three dimensional area of subjects surroundings that can be seen at any one time around an object of fixation when eyes are in a stationary position and looking straight ahead. This is the visual field. Types of visual field 1. Central visual field. It includes an area from fixation point to a circle 30 degrees away. It contains the physiological blind spot on the temporal side. Here you can see the central visual field along with the blind spot. 2. Peripheral visual field. Rest of the area beyond 30 degrees to outer extent of the field of vision is called peripheral field. Here, around the central field, you can see the extent of the peripheral field. The extent of the normal visual field is superiorly 50 degrees, inferiorly 70 degrees, temporally 90 degrees and nasally 60 degrees. The extent of normal visual field. The extent of total field of vision is 180 degrees. This is the total field of vision. The extent of monocular field of vision of each eye is 150 to 170 degrees. This is the monocular field. When the two eyes are used together, their visual fields overlap by 120 degrees. The overlapping part of the visual fields seen by both eyes together is called binocular visual field. Here you can see the binocular visual field. Extending on the sides of the binocular fields are crescent shaped monocular portions of visual fields of approximately 30 degrees seen by each eye alone called temporal crescents. Here at the side you can see the temporal crescents. Let us experiment through a demonstration. We can know about our monocular visual fields and the temporal crescents. With both eyes open, fix it precisely on a distant object. Now hold a pencil or a finger besides your head vertically next to your left ear. Without moving your gaze from the distant object, bring the pencil around the front of your head until you first see it in your peripheral field. Now close your left eye without moving your hand or the pencil from its place. Can you see the pencil? Why not? That is because the pencil is now located in the portion of the visual field that is monocular seen only by the left eye and lies in the left eye's temporal crescent. Let's compare the visual fields of humans to different species. First, frog. Frogs can see almost 360 degrees around them and this type of vision is called panoramic vision. There is little or no overlap between the visual fields of the two eyes in frogs. Frogs don't have as much depth perception or stereoscopic vision as other animals do. 
Second, birds. Pigeons have a wide visual field of nearly 360 degrees with a very narrow binocular field. Owls have binocular vision with 120 degrees of field of vision. The American woodcock has the largest visual field of 360 degrees in the horizontal plane and 180 degrees in the vertical plane. Third, animals such as cats, dogs and horses. A. Uniocular field. Dogs and cats can see about 150 degrees around from their nose. The horse can see about 350 degrees around because their eyes are positioned to the side of the head. This makes horses better able to watch for potential predators. B. Binocular field. Dogs and cats have a field of 85 degrees while horses have a field of 65 degrees compared to humans who have a binocular field of 120 degrees. Dogs and cats have some binocular vision but not as much as humans. This is a picture comparing the monocular and the binocular visual fields of animals and birds having side facing eyes and front facing eyes. So, why do we not have more than two eyes? Theoretically, three eyes would have given us better stereopsis than two eyes as demonstrated by computer scientists. However, biological systems are not very precise. Misalignment of two eyes, squint, can lead to double vision, diplopia, and so more eyes would mean low chances of all eyes being perfectly aligned with each other. The addition of a third eye would not be without its problems. The strain of keeping them aligned would cause trinocular accommodative and convergence problems that would hamper daily activities like reading or sports. Esthonopia, headaches resulting from these disorders can lead to difficulty performing many visual tasks that may be required in schooling occupation or hobby. Having two eyes already provided us with enough depth perception needed for performing all activities smoothly and comfortably. The advantages of having two eyes is better than the cost that needs to be paid for having three eyes. Stay tuned with us for more at Smart Optometry.